so glad you brought me here. This is gonna be so fun. This is my first comedy show. Can you believe that? I was like thinking about it. I was like, what do, what if we get there and he bombs? No, you don't think about that. I was thinking about that. I was like, what if he's not that good? What if we get there and they're like, no laughter? <laughs> That'd be weird. That'd be weird, right? That doesn't feel like something you should ask me on the way to the show, you know? <laughs> well, it could happen. Let's talk about, I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something just a little bit different. Something, oh my God, you know what I was thinking about? I'm sure you thought about it. Like, what if somebody runs up there and they're like, <gasps> punches you? Like in my face? Yeah, yeah, in the face. What if we got into a car accident right now? You see how that doesn't feel good to talk about? That's what it feels like you're trying to do to me. Oh, babe, so I was thinking about it on my way. I was like, I wonder if it has any jokes about me. Do you have any jokes about me? Don't answer that. I have a perfect one for you that you could just, you could just keep, okay? So, oh, oh, babe, we're here. Yeah, no, we're this here. Is, I'm gonna have you get out right here. Doesn't even look like there's anyone here. All, all the know, way out, I'm perfect. Getting out. I'm getting out. Don't push. I'll go all the way to the back. Close the door. Go ahead and shut that for it. Yep, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna park in the back where the comedians are and I'm gonna come right back and get you. I'm pregnant with your baby. God damn it. He was fine too. Mars Parker, I will find you. I want y'all to start clapping it up. Clapping it up right now for my man, my brother from Sacramento, California. Give it up for Mars Parker. God damn, God damn, you guys look good tonight. That's what's up. You, yeah, okay, I see you guys up there. Don't be up there making too much noise and shit. I see they put the white people up top. <laughs> fucking with that, fucking with that, that makes sense. Got you. My boy Nick is down here, cool, cool. How many people in here know me from Instagram? That's what's up, my mom's here, my mom's here, my stepfather. Yeah, you're gonna laugh harder when you hear my jokes and you realize my mom's here and shit. It's gonna be a good time. Cool, well I'm here, my name is Mars. I like to think of comedy as an instant vacation, you know, cheap one. Bring your girl out, forget about whatever the fuck's going on at home and shit, you know what I'm saying? And she's nodding and shit, she's like, cheap day, woo, let's go. <laughs> well things are changing, I'm gonna get straight to it. I'm starting to get older, I'm 33 now, you guys clap it up for that, I just turned 33. You look confused. No, I'm a grown man. I'm a grown ass man, right? I'm really a grown man. I know I look like an eighth grader with a beard and shit, but I'm really grown. Um, and you know, 2021, that was gonna be my year, right? That was really gonna be my year. Clap it up, it was gonna be your year. Clap that shit. It can't be everybody's year, you can't. Some of you niggas on salary, you know what I'm saying? Not too much was gonna change for you, but it was gonna be my year. I was doing comedy. I was with a girl, I was, with, I was in a relationship, right? And I started going to the gym with my girl. Anybody go to the gym? You don't gotta clap it up, don't worry about it. I'm gonna tell you about my experience because I got a microphone. <laughs> I started going to the gym with my girl because you know the couple that works out together, they fuck together. <laughs> Nobody wanna fuck no fat person, all right? <laughs> I mean, some people wanna fuck out. <laughs> um, oh, it's gonna get worse. That's the first joke. You guys better take a sit back. I hope you got some alcohol. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. But every time I would go to the gym with my girl, we're cute, we're finding our little area, I put up my phone, I'm making a TikTok, we're having a good time. We're working out, and then every time, hear me out, same type of gym guy. Big ass motherfucker, like this guy right here. <laughs> Looks like you've already won the gym. I don't know why you're still coming here. <laughs> what more are you working out? Then he comes to my area, I'm working on my girl. I'm like, you're doing great, look at us, working out. And then here comes Nick. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, to me, that sounds like sex. <laughs> what the 
four, five. <laughs> and here's the thing, you're not gonna out awkward me in front of my girl, right? <laughs> not gonna happen. So when he goes, six, I'm like, seven, uh, eight, good four. Mm. I don't work out that gym anymore for obvious. <laughs> they kick me out. Can't work out and be moaning, I guess. I've been thinking about getting a BBL in my arms and don't you fucking copy me, bitch. I'm gonna try to do a BBL in my arms. You can take that to the, somebody just nodded, yep. Who the fuck is, don't, don't, don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> Things are changing. I'm getting older, which means my friends are getting fucking older, right? <sighs> my boys are starting to get married. Ooh, anybody here married? <laughs> I know my mom is married. <laughs> We will talk after the show. <laughs> I expected one sad clap, like, no. It's a bunch of single motherfuckers in here, right? Okay, okay, we'll see after the show then. Let's see just how single y'all is. Well, my friends are starting to get married. And I thought, all right, this is it. My boys are getting married. I'm going to, I'm going to weddings. I'm putting on suits and shit. This is the most adult shirt I have, right? I'm putting on suits. I'm at weddings. I'm like, our conversations are about to start changing. We're about to start talking about grown man things. How's the weather? How's the kids? Oh, you should probably put air in those tires, right? <laughs> I don't know what you niggas talking about. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is about that ring. It doesn't do what you think it does. It turns your friends into dumb asses. And I think it's because they don't get out the house enough, right? They're at home with their wife. That's their best friend. You, imagine talking to your wife all day, all day. You can't come talk to the boys after that shit. You know, somebody here married and they lying. <laughs> somebody this motherfucker keeping their marriage to themselves right now. Because they're trying to fuck one of these little girls in here. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. My boy was like, man, you so, you so fucking lucky you single. He was like, how many, let me ask you this. I've been thinking about it. I've been wondering about it. I just wanna, how many, how many girls have you had sex with in the past three weeks? Huh? How many girls have I had sex with in the past three weeks? What can you do with that information? Why do you need that at home? Probably say, ah, you know. <laughs> no, I don't, sir. He said, you know what? You should be having sex with anyone you want to. He said, if I was you, I'd be fucking anyone I want to. <laughs> that hurt my hips doing that. <laughs> he was like, you should be having sex with anyone you want to. I said, wait a minute, sir. They have to choose to have sex with me, right? They're not gonna have sex with me. They laugh at that. <laughs> I said they have to choose to have sex with me because if they don't, it's a huge crime where I will go to prison, where I will not get to have, choose who I have sex with, right? <laughs> I might be a civilian six, but I'm in prison 10 for sure, okay? <laughs> It's not funny, it's not funny. It's scary. Like, it's not even a butt, it's just a hole with meat around it, right? I would be a hot commodity in prison, right? Most sought after bitch, right? I'm funny, I smile a lot, I'm lighthearted. <laughs> I'm 
glad you guys are laughing about me going to prison. You do know I'm black. It's a very short bus ride, okay? Anybody here got kids? I know you, oh, 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 you sinful motherfuckers. <laughs> Ain't no marriages here, but it's a lot of babies in here. A whole lot of fucking going on, isn't it? <laughs> they say yes! <laughs> well, it's starting to happen as I'm getting older. Things are changing, and I'm, I'm going with the changes, but they're happening. And I'm trying to figure out how to fucking navigate this shit, because it's happening quickly. Like, people are starting to do this weird ass thing. They're starting to bring, they're starting to bring babies to parties. <laughs> I'm just like any red-blooded American male. When I go to parties, I want to drink and maybe do some drugs. I don't want to drink and do drugs with a baby. I mean, I will drink and do drugs with a baby. It's not my baby, though. I didn't bring that baby. I shouldn't have to make decisions like this for this baby, right? It's not my child. You want a shot? Somebody left their baby over here not drinking. I used to go to parties and I would know I was too drunk at a party and they're like, oh shit, Mars, nah, you stay in here tonight, give me your keys, give me them keys. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> drunk Mars here. <laughs> drunk Mars in the building, right? That's when I knew I was drunk, I was drunk. They told me I'm not driving. Now when I realize I'm too drunk when I'm at a party and they're like, ah, mm, maybe you shouldn't hold my baby. And here's the thing, that's the only time I want to hold it when I got a little alcohol in me, right? <laughs> like, give me that baby, I'll fucking hold this baby. What are you talking about? Got him? Come on, boy. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. That was swinging a baby around <laughs> like a nunchuck. <laughs> and that tickled you up. <laughs> that's cool. I'm, glad, I'm so glad you guys are laughing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what else is going on? Are we going to be okay, like, as a society? No. I'm glad you guys all been thinking about it like I have to. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be okay. I want us to be okay, right? I mean, I've still got to be here. I don't know, though. The other day, I was in a car, and I heard, a, I heard an ad on the radio station. I know you guys are like, what the fuck is the radio? Uh, <laughs> It's a little thing in a car that plays music back to you without your phone. Uh, yeah, on the radio it was like, it was during the holidays, right? The ass started, started like, and then a really deep voice came over and it said, the holidays don't just happen. The United States Postal Service makes it happen. Did you guys just diss Santa Claus over the radio? <laughs> During December? <laughs> that would be like if I had a baby, right? Me and my girl had a baby. We posted on Instagram. We're loving it. Everybody's like, cute baby. Oh my God, congrats. And then our doctor's like, without me, that shit would have never happened. <laughs> So, so I'm glad you guys found that funny. I was high as fuck when I wrote that joke. <laughs> I, got like, I was like, they fucking just a Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm starting to realize I gotta, I gotta enhance the woman I, I, I try to go after, right? I gotta leave these new 2022, don't clap for that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? You one of them if you clapping, I know that. These new 2022 women, watch the fuck out. Jesus Christ, worrisome, watch her, she's laughing. Especially these Gen Zers, did you know they can go to the club now? Did you know Gen Z can be at the club with you? Did you know a full grown 21 year old who was born in 2000 at the end of 1999 can have a shot with you? Guess who does know? I know. 
And guess how I found out? The hard way. I'll tell you my story because I got a microphone. Don't even worry about it. You guys sit right there. I'm having a drink with a, with a nice young lady at the club. We're having a good time. She's like, I know you from Instagram. I'm like, all right, red flag number one. Perfect. Awesome. She says, what do you want? I said, I normally drink tequila, you know, something light. She says, let's do vodka shots. Number two, red motherfucking flag. Who the fuck drinks vodka on a Thursday? And then we get to the after party. I'm hanging out with her and her friends, right? We're at the after party. Everybody starts talking about signs, zodiac signs. When's your birthday was? She was like, when's your birthday? I was like, oh, 1988. She said, were you born in the 1900s? the 1900s? <laughs> like, during prohibition type shit, bitch? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that one hurt. That one fucking hurt. <laughs> that hurt just as much, you know, when you go to the register and they look at the card and like, ah, oh, don't even worry about it, I see it in the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Check my shit, nigga! Just what the I realized that dating any woman from Sacramento is like dating an FBI agent. <laughs> the fuck you screaming A for? She knows. The guys are agents. ATF, sheriff, whatever you want to put it, they're the same, all the same. You know what they do? They, they like to ask you how your night was last night. Guess what they don't give a fuck about? How your night was last night. They are building a case against you. They're looking for evidence. They already know the answer. They want to see what you are going to lie about, right? <laughs> They're laughing because it's true. It's relatable. And what is our best defense, fellas? What do we do? Lie. Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> lie? <laughs> I didn't lie to you. <laughs> no, fellas. So we go into our last line of defense, which is called humo. Fellas, you know what hum mode is? Ladies, you know what the fuck hum mode is, right? It's when you ask your man a question, he says, huh? So he can think about the lie he about to tell your dumb ass. Hum mode, activated. <laughs> How was my night? Huh? <laughs> no, for real. No, my girl asked me the other day. She was like, Marcus, night out the other night? I said, huh? She said, nigga, how was your night the other night? <laughs> I said, you know what? It was a good night. I went out with Nick. Me and Nick went out. It was a really good night. She said, you and Nick went out. <laughs> it was a really good night? I said, huh? She said, nigga, was it a really good night? <laughs> I said, it was a really good night. She said, was there anybody else there? <laughs> I said, huh? She said, nigga, was there anybody else there? I said, oh, you know what? Nick's girlfriend came through. Nick's girlfriend was there with me. I remember that Nick's girlfriend was there. She said, Nick's girlfriend was there. <laughs> she said, do you remember being on anybody's Snapchat? I said, huh? She said, nigga, was you on anybody's Snapchat? <laughs> and what I say? I said, wow. <laughs> wow. Because don't nobody say wow like a nigga who just got caught lying, right? <laughs> we say that shit hard. Hell yeah, all right, cool. You telling me to shush? <laughs> Tell me I'm telling too much? I'm telling you right now, they know about your lie. You're not that smart, sir. You're not coming up with nothing new, nigga. <laughs> We're not the first. <laughs> I had this girl the other day. I was hanging out with her. She was like, oh. I just wish when you went out, you could just leave your dick here at home. <laughs> I 
I said, do you know how many dicks will be riddled over the ground if niggas could just take their dicks off? <laughs> really think about it. There'll be dicks everywhere you go. Niggas be, God damn, I didn't left my fucking dick, boy. I didn't left my fucking dick. Imagine you walk in the club. Imagine you walk in the club and niggas been drinking. You walk in there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, bring my dick back, baby girl. The big one, uh-huh. Run that back to me so I can talk to you. You're laughing because you know it. Imagine your little son with his dick taking off. Oh, my mom, my mom, hit my dick, hit my dick. <laughs> you see your boy talking to a cute girl, you walk up to her, boop, dip your dick in her drink. <laughs> Dibs, nigga, I'm with her, I want her. Dibs. Boop. Let's go dance. <laughs> Things is happening, man. Can I ask you a question? I feel like we're comfortable. I feel like, I feel like you're watching me, you know what I'm saying? It's hella weird. Has a girl ever made you cry? All the time, what? Plenty, okay, yeah, not tears of sadness, but tears of joy. <sighs> you better step your fucking game up, girl. I'm gonna tell you my story because I got a microphone in that sand. <laughs> I was once having sex with this girl and I was giving her what I call the rabbit because I'm skinny and have really good cardio. Baby's gotta get made some way. Can't make an omelet without cracking no egg. Stop playing with me. Right there in your ear, I'm going to work. The rabbit, amazing time. And as I was at the climax, I came. Mm. That's what it sounds like when I come. Mm. That's what it sounds like. Cause I'm skinny, so when it shoots out, it's with so much velocity. She was like, oh my God, did you just come? I was like, yes, your vagina was bomb. I did the gun to her. I said, you know, you do the gun, you look at the gun, let him know. I said, yes, your vagina was bomb. She was like, oh my God. I was like, what, did I do something wrong? She was like, no, it was just. <laughs> I wanted you. <laughs> I wanted you to do it on my face. And in that moment right there, <laughs> in that moment right there, I shed a real nigga tear. Cause I knew I felt the same when my grandma felt watching Obama get picked for president. <laughs> wow. I knew we were both just like, that's my nigga right there. All right, I got the cum joke out, that's what's up. <laughs> I'm not about to try to open that. Anybody else get weird during the pandemic? The first part of it, not the 2021, the real one. Anybody get weird during it, like at home, where you have to really get to know yourselves, or your significant other, or your dog? You know? <laughs> that, the dog isn't the weird part, I'm sorry. I don't want you guys to <laughs> We're not segueing that far. Um, I got weird, I got lonely during the pandemic, right? I was at home, 
scared as fuck, washing my hands every fucking moment I could, right? And then I started looking up sex stuff. <laughs> sex stuff. I was, you, whatever. <laughs> it happens. I know some of you in here have a rose. So I came across a website that called, it was called the Five Finger Discount. Specifically for, for guys masturbating, right? I came across, and the first tab you clicked on, it was called The Stranger. You know what The Stranger is? Mm, I wouldn't tell anybody that. <laughs> tell you guys about The Stranger. He's white, he knows this shit. <laughs> stranger is when you're either about to have sex or masturbate, so you sit on your hand, you put it at the edge of the bed, kitchen counter, bathroom counter. Takes about 15 minutes, give or take. Once your hand goes numb, you jack off and it feels like a stranger's touching your dick, right? You can write that one down. You can write that one down. He said, you don't say. How long, 15 minutes? Yeah, nigga. Feels like you fucking a hand you've never met before. <laughs> And the second tab, second tab was called the reverse stranger. No, no, you don't sell nobody else's dick. What you do is you take, and I'll tell you, because I tried it out. You go to that corner of your bed, put your dick on that part, or you can do it on the corner of the counter. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. And you press on there until your dick goes numb, right? But it's still hard. Now when you jack off, you feel like you're jacking off somebody you've never met in your life before. You're like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a lot of time during the pandemic, I promise you that. There's a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of time. <laughs> That's really hot, Jack. <laughs> but me being an entrepreneur Negro, I thought we could, we could jazz this up a bit, right? So I came up with the ultimate stranger. Hear me out, because I got a microphone. What you want to do is find a corner of the bed, sit on your hand. It takes about 15 minutes, give or take. Then you want to squeeze your thighs. <laughs> do you see where I'm going? You want to squeeze them thighs. That part takes about 20 minutes, give or take. And then when you masturbate, it feels like two people you've never seen in your life before are going to town. <laughs> so y'all didn't get weird during the pandemic? <laughs> Just me, I guess. Some nigga's about to go home and be like, baby, did you hear about this shit, this nigga? He was edutainment. It was educational and entertainment. <laughs> Things are changing now. Times are changing. I'm getting older. I'm, I'm trying to get serious. I want to get. I want people to take me serious, right? And one of the things I'm learning is that I can't talk to. I can't talk to my girl the way some of my friends talk to their girl, right? I, everybody's not the same. You can't do that shit. You got to. You got to be in your own situation. For example, I went home with my boy Nick the other night. We were having drinks over at Tiger. He was like, let's go to my house, we'll have a nightcap. I'll send you home. I was like, damn, Nick, that's hella nice of you. Let's go have a drink. He was like, come on, we get to his house, we're having a drink. His girl comes out the room. She was like, what the fuck are y'all doing here making all this goddamn noise? It's three in the morning. He said, bitch, don't I pay rent here too? Is this not my space? You need to show me some goddamn respect when I walk through that motherfucking door. I said, oh my God. <laughs> Is that how we're supposed to be doing it? <laughs> I said, you know what, I gotta go home. <laughs> he said, what about your girl? It's like four in the morning. I said, don't worry about that, nigga, I got this. <laughs> so I walk in the house, I open the door, kick it open. I'm looking for silverware, making as much noise as I can. Where's the forks, where's the spoons? <laughs> My girl came out the room, she was like, Marcus, what are you doing making all this noise? I said, look here, bitch! Do I not motherfucking live here too? 
you need to show me some motherfucking respect when I walk through that motherfucking door. She said, stop moving your body. I said, look here, bitch. I said, you think I need to be all demonstrative with your ass? But what I do need you to do is show me some motherfucking respect when I walk through that motherfucking door. She said, stop cussing. I said, look here, boo-boo. You think I need to curse to get my point across to your dumb, dumb self? But what I do need you to do is show me some god darn respect when I walk through the motherfucking door. She said, lower your voice. I said, look here, boo-boo. Do I not live here too? You think I need to cuss at your dumb, dumb self? I don't. But what I do need you to do is show me some god darn respect. She said, Mars, use your voice. I said, sometimes I feel like you don't talk to me the way some of my friends talk to their friends. My name is Morris Parker. That's been my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys could have been anywhere in the world. I love you. Mama, I love you. Father, I love you. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed night, man. All right? Thank you, guys.